Hello, I'm Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett welcoming you to this episode of Orion Update here on the bustling Baldwin Corridor. Uh, we're excited to talk about all things Baldwin in this episode, but first I'm going to throw it over to our township engineer who can talk to you about some of the specifics of this beautiful new corridor. Hi Orient Township, I'm Jim Stevens, Township Engineer, and we're out here today to talk a little bit about the recently completed Baldwin Road project. This project has been a long time in the making. In fact, when I started back in 1999, they were discussing this project. Um, in 2008 is when the Road Commission for Oakland County initiated what's called the Environmental Assessment Study, which really kicked off the project to transform this corridor. In 2013, the design of this corridor actually began and was completed in 2018 when construction started. As, as you all know, this construction project took about three years to complete, and in fact, the contractors are gonna have some punch list items yet this sp next spring to, to finalize this job out. And some of the benefits of this corridor are Im improved travel times, improved safety with the roundabout slowing the speeds, and of course, the township did an amazing job with the aesthetics of this corridor. The Corridor Improvement Authority, founded by the township, not only widened Brown Road, but also provided all these aesthetic enhancements on the Baldwin Road corridor. And of course, my favorite, the fountain right behind me. Some interesting facts about this $55 million project, one of the largest in recent history for the Road Commission of Oakland County. There's over 125 million pounds of concrete. There's miles and miles of conduits and underground pipes. There was grade changes of almost 15 feet at certain portions of the project. One of the added benefits of this corridor has been the pathways on both sides of the roadway. In addition to that, there's crossings at every roundabout at a hawk signal allowing traffic to stop and for pedestrians to safely cross. So that's it just for a quick update from the Baldwin Road Project and now I'll turn it over to your Township Supervisor Chris Barnett to talk about the rest of the corridor. Thank you Jim and I want to say a special thanks not only to Jim but the entire OHM team because they are the brains behind uh, the heart of this project. One of the things that we really were, it was very important not only to me but our township board was we wanted to make this a very pedestrian friendly corridor. So as you could hear from Jim, the hawk signals help that, uh, but also a lot of these other pedestrian amenities and these fun amenities as I like to call them. I'm standing at one of my favorite spots in the township, the Playful Dragon, uh, here just north of our southern border, Brown Road uh, in Baldwin. And this place is actually the one of the busiest spots in town. So we built this playground with the, with the help of the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation, a very generous grant from them, and also our friends at OHM and Pulte Homes. Pulte Homes contributed a lot of the services in kind uh, to the township to make this a reality. But as I stated, when we built this corridor, we knew that we were gonna have the increased traffic and additional lanes, but we wanted to really put a high focus on what would make this not just a regular road, not just another old road, uh, but something kind of unique and special. So we chose uh, specifically pedestrian lights. We didn't want street lights per se, we wanted lights that were really mostly highlighting the sidewalks. Uh, we have sidewalks on both sides of this road to make it safe for families to ride their bikes or walk to the store, to get groceries uh, or come to the Playful Dragon. And then, as mentioned, we have pocket parks. So we have this pocket park, the Playful Dragon, but we also have another pocket park that's, uh, we've acquired the property, purchased the property uh, at Pasadena and Baldwin on the west side of the road, just north of where I'm standing. Uh, and we're in the process of designing and kind of dreaming what that pocket park will be. Uh, so right now we think we want to do some sort of tribute to Gingeville, to the his history of our area, uh, and also just have some other uh, friendly pedestrian amenities that people can enjoy as they're walking or biking around our community. And then recently, the Township Board uh, is in process of acquiring the corner of Gregory and Baldwin, directly adjacent to Fire Station 3, our fire admin building. And what we plan to do there is just some additional landscaping, maybe a bench or two, uh, just another place for people to enjoy uh, the corridor. And that might sound strange, enjoying the corridor, but when the Road Commission uh, told us they were gonna widen this road, 
they basically were going to do just that. They were going to widen the road and build the roundabouts to ease uh, traffic congestion and help uh, the traffic to flow more safely uh, and more effectively. Uh, but outside of that, that's pretty much all they were going to provide us. So the township board uh, made it a really high priority uh, to not just take what they were going to give us, but to do not only the pedestrian amenities, but the landscape uh, features that you see along the corridor, including one of the only fountains in the middle of a roundabout in the entire country. So uh, right in front of the Great Lakes Athletic Club, you'll see our fountain, which we love. It's beautiful. It's lit up at night. Uh, and that is something that we wanted to do. We wanted to make this feel like it's not just another regular old road. And why is that important to you as our residents? Because I think it not only protects your property values, but increases your property values. It sets our community apart. Can't tell you how many people we've had in town just this summer that have commented on this dragon behind me and the fountain and just all the lush landscaping that exists uh, here on the Baldwin Corridor. And that's uh, to help set our community apart, make us a little bit different. But not only do we have the amenities that you as our residents get to enjoy, we have the businesses that have located along this corridor that have already been here and then new businesses that are planning on coming. So I'm gonna talk about the businesses that already call this corridor their home. And what we've seen throughout the construction project, which was several years, uh, was a lot of patience on their part, first of all, which we are so grateful and appreciative of. But not only were they patient with the progress of the road, but they chose, many of them, to reinvest, to spend money, additional money, to make their facilities look more beautiful. And we see that just north of where I'm standing with several of the strip malls. Uh, they put brand new facades on their buildings in conjunction with the project, uh, as well as new buildings that are being built um, as we speak. And I've talked to some of those property owners and they were excited to invest their money back into the corridor because they saw the township doing the same thing. One of the other exciting parts of this project was the cost. Very expensive project, but we're able to do that through diligent savings over many years from previous boards, but also through the creation of a corridor improvement authority. That's a tax capture, it's an avenue, it's a tool we have from the state of Michigan that allows us to capture the tax increase, the revenue uh, increases of these facilities that are being built along the corridor by not them paying higher taxes, but by some of the taxes they would normally be paying to the other authorities like the county and the parks to be diverted to our corridor for these specific beautification and enhancement projects. And I can tell you we were the first corridor improvement authority in Oakland County to get unanimous approval throughout all stages of the process because they believed in what we were doing here. Because that investment not only helps us in the short term, but in the long term helps all those authorities, the, the county and the parks and all the other taxing authorities, Oakland Community College to gain additional revenue as well. So the investment attracts other new investment. So that's an exciting part of this project as well. Now some of the new businesses I can't tell you specifically because some of them I've signed non-disclosure agreements, but we are actively uh, working on developing some of the final pieces of this um, corridor, private property owned not by the township, by, by private property owners that are looking to do uh, specific developments on this corridor. And I'm really excited, except I can't tell you details, but I can tell you it'll be like nothing we have here in our community. So stay tuned for more on that. Uh, and you can watch our planning commission meetings in the near future to see what I'm talking about. But in the short term, we're really hopeful that you have been able to enjoy the sidewalks and the pedestrian amenities this summer. If you haven't, you need to bring your family out here. Visit the businesses that are on this corridor. Thank them for their investment in our community and their patience during the project. And the best way you can do that is by spending your dollars in their shops, shopping local right here in Orient Township on our corridor. And in the meantime, hopefully you can find me someplace along here. On a Saturday, it's hard to get a space on the Dragon, but for now, looks like I have some time, so I might enjoy this my, right now myself. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Orient Update. I hope to see you around town.